Welcome to Lesson 3, Vent Design. In the previous lesson, you learned how to design a vented subwoofer enclosure. In this lesson, you will learn how to design the physical vent required to tune the enclosure. Term Pro supports three different styles of vents, pipe, rectangular, and flange. In this example, we will design a pipe style vent. After completing this lesson, you will be able to select the desired vent type, specify the number of vents, design a vent by specifying the vent diameter, and manipulate the 3D viewport display. Term Pro consists of five distinct pages. Each of these pages focuses on a unique aspect of the enclosure design process. To access each page, click on the navigation index at the top of the screen. The recommended sequence for designing a subwoofer enclosure in Term Pro is to work from left to right whenever possible. For example, you would normally select the driver on the driver library page. You would then design the enclosure on the enclosure design page. The next step would be to design the vent on the vent design page. Finally, you would design the physical enclosure on the wood design page. The fabrication page is used to view and or print blueprints for the design. Let's get started with a tour of the vent design page. This tour is just an overview. I'll talk more about each section in more detail later in the training. The back chamber panel contains the enclosure design parameters such as enclosure volume VB1 and tuning frequency FB1. These values are typically computed on the enclosure design page. Note that both parameters are locked by default. The vent parameters panel contains the vent quantity selector. This value specifies the number of vents to use for the design. The internal vent dimensions panel includes the design parameters for the vent, such as diameter and length. The vent air velocity panel includes a bar graph that indicates the speed of the air inside the vent as a percentage of the speed of sound. The View Settings panel includes a toolbar that is used to control and manipulate the 3D viewport. The 3D viewport displays a three-dimensional representation of the current vent design. The Vent Design toolbar contains buttons that are used to execute various vent design commands. At this time, I'm going to provide step-by-step -step instructions on how to design a vent. The first step is to select the vent type you wish to design. Locate the three vent selection buttons on the vent design toolbar. I'm going to use the pipe type for this demonstration. Next, I'm going to specify the number of vents to use in the design. The default value is 1, and that is the value I wish to use. At this point, I'm ready to design the vent. This is accomplished by specifying the desired vent parameter in the internal vent dimensions panel. For a pipe style vent, there are three design parameters diameter, length, and area. Please note that diameter and area are directly related for circular shaped vents. Term Pro will normally use a default diameter of 3 inches for a pipe style vent. In this example, the pipe would need to be 8.09 inches long to tune the 1.5 cubic foot enclosure to 35 hertz. Please note the air velocity of 10.56% as depicted on the vent air velocity bar graph. This value is slightly higher than I want. Excessive vent air velocity can result in vents that sound noisy or that don't work as desired. I'm going to adjust the vent and try and reduce this value. There's only one way to reduce vent air velocity. You must make the area of the vent larger. Unfortunately, as you make the vent area larger, the vent length will also increase. This poses one of the greatest challenges of vent design. The objective is to reduce the vent air velocity as much as possible while still being able to fit the vent inside the enclosure. When working with a pipe vent, it is easier to just change the vent diameter as opposed to changing the area. To change the diameter, type in a new value for D, or you can simply use the up-down buttons adjacent to the data field to change the current value. Please note how the vent length increases as I increase the vent diameter. Also note how the vent air velocity decreases. As you can see, the vent length can get excessive in a hurry. 
In this example, a 4 inch diameter vent would need to be 15.356 inches long. I'm going to try to reduce the vent diameter in an effort to shorten the vent length. Specifying a vent diameter of 3.5 inches will result in a vent length of 11.437 inches and a vent air velocity of 7.76%. This is a good compromise between vent length and vent air velocity. Anytime the vent parameters change, the 3D viewport will automatically update to display the new vent design. You can then use the View Settings toolbar to control the 3D viewport settings. The four display mode buttons are used to control how the viewport represents the vent in the 3D viewport. Wire mode will render the vent in wireframe mode. Transparent mode will render the vent as if it were made of a transparent material. Solid, which is the default mode, will render the vent as a solid material. Render will display a textured solid representation of the vent. The Legend toolbar button is used to toggle the dimensional labels off and on. The Grid button is used to hide and show the 3D viewport grid. The Animation button will animate the viewport. The Camera Position preset buttons can be used to change the viewpoint of the 3D viewport. The four green arrow buttons are used to manually control the camera's position. The button in the center of the green arrows will reset the camera position to the last camera preset that was used. With Term Pro, you can design vents to tune your enclosure accurately and quickly. In this training module, I provided you with step-by-step -step instructions for completing this task. In this lesson, you learned how to select the desired vent type, specify the number of vents, design a vent by specifying the vent diameter, and manipulate the 3D viewport display. Please spend a moment to review this lesson by practicing the information presented here with your own copy of TermPro. Thanks for watching.